Hello there. <laughs> Welcome back. So now you know how to create a gray and blur effect for your photos using CSS image filters. Okay. So now in this model, we are going to learn that how to create a sepia effect for your photos. Well, that's really very easy and <laughs> very awesome. <laughs> So let's visit our creator and now you can see I am in code editor and this is style page. So let's uh, create a page for sepia. It's called sepia.html. Okay. And go to grayscale. Control A for select all. Control C for copy. And go to sepia and control V for paste. Okay. So let's change their class name to grayscale to sepia. Okay. And let's visit our style page. And now you can see this is a style page and here we are going to add a sepia. Okay, so let's put enters to look nice and let's add a comment. It's called sepia page. Okay, and here we go that add a sepia class on image filters filter and that will be sepia okay well in sepia you can use a decimal or maybe a percent value okay it both work fine so zero means no sepia and one means fully 100% sepia okay so let's make it 100% sepia effect okay and now one for webkit it's 100% and one for moz okay sepia one okay and now go to sepia and take a live preview of it and here you go now this images is fully sepia let's make it hover over okay so go here and save out some time and copy it and paste it here and sepia image on hover okay make it zero okay and now once again visit here and when you hover over it see whoa <laughs> so this is the sepia effect this is how you get a sepia effect for your photos okay so let's uh, add it in link here okay so for same reasons and actually first of all let's take a percent value okay so I'm in WebKit so I make it 50% uh, well let's uh, create a very simple very small effect right so 20% how is this whoa you can see <laughs> now it's 20% sepia okay so now let's add it here okay but before that let's make it 100% okay so now it's 100% and I'm using print screen on my keyboard once again and I'm going to use MS paint okay control V for paste once again, I'll crop it here. Okay. Crop it and resize it to 60. Okay. And uh, save it here. Now it will be sepia.png. Okay. And I visit my code editor. Sepia. And here we go you can see here yeah. so just uh, copy it to save us some time paste it here make it sepia then sepia and here is also sepia okay and copy it and paste it to blur and grayscale okay so go to grayscale and after blur paste it here and go to blur and paste it here okay and now you're done so go here okay and now click here gray it's gray blur blur and sepia it's sepia okay so thank you so much and see you in the next model.